So good day everyone, I am Teacher Jay Ann. And I'm Teacher Leomar. So for today's discussion, we will talk to about solve problems involving conversions of units of measurements. So but before that, we will talk about first our objectives. So we have three objectives. So at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to identify the way in solving application and problems involving conversions, exercise mastery of solving problems using conversion of units, and realize the use of unit conversion in real life situations. As we all know, units of measurements are, are very important and applicable in our daily lives. Just like in buying gasoline, it converts into liters. Just like in walking, and how many kilometers did you walk? So those are some examples that we encountered units. So now, let us proceed to our motivational activity. We have this activity, Convert Me. So you will be shown abbreviation. So we have 10 items of abbreviation here. You just need to full, give its full name and please write in one for sheet of paper. And after you answer, you're done answering it, please picture your paper and then pass it to me online. So based on our activity, first activity, how did you come up with those answers you have? So I know that you already know how or what are those abbreviations because it, it is already um, discussed with your previous topic. Okay, now so let us proceed to our lesson proper. So in our lesson proper, we have again an activity. So this activity called Convert Me version 2.0. So as a continuation of our first activity, this time the student will convert measurement with real values, just like 45 centimeter to how many millimeter. Please write it at the back of your paper in the first activity. So based on your activity, how do you solve a unit conversion problem? What can you say about the given? And how do you solve measurement problem? These are some examples that we might answer in ourselves. So, good day again class. Here we are in our lesson proper. So, I assume that you are already discussed with the different unit of conversions. So, in this discussion, I'm going to give you sort of some examples using the word problems involving units of conversion. First example is Lara is making a punch for a party. The recipe calls for three and a half cups of lemonade per batch. Lara wants to make 10 batches of punch. How many gallons of lemonade will she need to buy? The, the solution is, the first step in solving the problem is to find how many cups are needed to make 10 batches of lemonade. Then you can convert cups to gallons. Multiply the number of cups needed for one batch by 10. 10 times 3 and 1 half is equal to 10 times 3 plus 1 half. Then, 3, 10 times 3 plus 10 times 1 half is equal to 30 plus 5. We come up with 35. Therefore, 35 cups are needed for 10 batches. And for the question, how many gallons of lemonade will she buy? Here is the solution. Convert 35 cups to gallons. Divide the number of cups by 16. Since 16 is the number of cups in convert into 1 gallon. 35 divided by 16 is 2, remainder 3. Therefore, the, the 3 cups left over means that Laura will need to buy another gallon of lemonade in addition to the two gallons. She, she will need to buy three gallons of lemonade in order to have enough to make ten batches of punch. Next example is Sally is bringing a sports drink to a team party. The coach asked her to bring two and a half gallons of sports drink. How many of the sports drink bottle will Sally need to bring? The solution is, since 1 gallon is 8 pins and the bottle of sports drink that Sally is bringing is equal to 1 pin, 
Therefore, 8 pins times 2 and 1 half gallon is equal to 20. Sally needs to bring 20 pits of sports drink since each bottle is 1 pin. She needs to bring 20 bottles of sports drink. For the next example, we have example number 3. Cassie is making an exercise plan. She plans to walk a trail near her home 20 times each month. It takes 40 minutes to walk the trail. If Cassie keeps the same pace, how many hours will she spend walking the trail each month? So here is the solution. Cassie walks the trail in 40 minutes. To find the total number of minutes she walked, represented by M, multiply the number of minutes by the number of times Cassie will walk the trail. M is equal to 40 times 20. We come up with 800 minutes she will walk in one month. Second thing to do is to divide 800 by 60 to convert 800 minutes to hours. Since 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour, 800 divided by 60 is equal to 13.20 13.20 hours that Sally needs to walk for a month. The next example is Edward is planning a party for 30 people. He plans for each guest to drink one cup of juice. He has two and a half gallons of juice. Does he have enough juice for the party? So the solution is since one gallon is equal to 16 cups, so cups are a smaller measurement unit than gallons. Edward multiplies two and a half by 16. Find the number of cup to find the number of cups the, of juice he has. 22 and a half times 16 is equal to 2 plus 1 half times 16. Then 2 times 16 plus 1 half times 16 is equal to 32. 32 is come up from 2 times 16. And 8 is come up from 1 half times 16. 32 plus 8 is equals to 40. Therefore, there are 40 cups of juice that Edward has. And, 20, and 40 is greater than 30. So Edward has enough juice for the party. Next is example number 5. Oliver and Lance measures worms from their glass compost bin. Oliver measures a 3.5 cm worm and Lance measures a 28 mm worm. Which worm is longer? And how much longer is the longer worm? The solution is you can write equations to convert centimeters to millimeters or vice versa. To compare the lengths, the measurement needs to be in the same unit. Convert centimeter to millimeter. There are ten since there are ten millimeters in each of a centimeter, then three point five times ten is equal to thirty five. Then three point five centimeters are thirty five millimeters. Next is convert millimeters to centimeters. There are ten millimeters in each centimeter. Then we divide 28 by 10 since 1, one cm is equal to 10 millimeters. 28 divided by 10 is equal to 2.8. Therefore, 28 millimeters is 2.8 cm. Then we come up that lance, lance worm is longer than the other. And finding its difference, we need to subtract 3.5 by 28 when in terms to centimeter. Therefore, the other one is longer by 0.7 centimeters. And when it comes to millimeter, it is longer by 7 millimeters. Next is, Leslie and Lila measure the length of their hermit crabs. <clears throat> Leslie measured her crab to be 34 millimeters. Lila measured her crab to be 2.8 centimeters. 
who has the longer graph? 1 cm is equal to 10 mm. It is easier to compare measurement in the same units. You can compare in millimeter or centimeter depending on your preference. Solution To compare the crabs in millimeter, convert the length of Lila's crab into millimeters. To convert from centimeters to millimeters, use multiplication. 2.8 centimeters times 10 is equal to 28 millimeters. Therefore, Lila's crab is 28 millimeters long. Since 34 millimeters is greater than 28 millimeters, therefore, Leslie has a longer crab. So we are done with our discussion. I want you to answer some of these applications. And you are going to write an essay about the importance of units of conversion in real life situations. You should state situations that unit of conversion is used. Do it in a Word document with a font size of 12, A4 size, and 1.5 spacing with a Times New Roman. And normal margin. Pass it on my... I want you to pass it on my email. In the subject, put your name, grade level, and section, date, and your teacher's name if you submit it to me. Test your understanding about our topic. We have prepared there the assessment. So answer the following in a one half sheet of paper. And then if you are done answering it, as usual, feature your paper and send it to me. So these are the questions. We have three items. Since we are all done, so you have your assignment to be passed in the next meeting. So you need to formulate a word problem involving conversion of units of measurement. So do, you, do it in a Word document. So we have this um, format. Follow this format and send it to my email. So that's it for today's class. Once again, I am Teacher Lumar. And I am Teacher J. Ann. So I hope you learned something today. Thank you and God bless.